Well, hello there. I'm Anna Warner. I'm so excited to be speaking to you tonight. Um, just releasing this word of the Lord for you. I want to start off and just say Merry Christmas and almost Happy New Year. I hope your Christmas was wonderful this year. Um, my family, we got to travel actually and go see our family on the West Coast. So it was really exciting and fun. As you're jumping on here, um, I just want to welcome you. If you're new to watching me on um, whatever social media um, access point you're watching from, um, I just want to say hello and thank you for joining in today. And um, also, I want to mention in, there's a link um, in this to my website, and on a, that's onawarner.org. And lots of people write in often and ask me, you know, when are you doing the next mentorship? When are you doing the next school? They'll email us. And I just want to say that um, I offer a lot of different mentorships this next, this, this year, this next year coming up, um, because specifically because of this word of the Lord I'm about to share with you. Um, I've really pivoted my schedule so that I can just mentor more people. That seems to be like where that, that I know that I was called to do this because it, it creates in me so much joy. Like there's nothing greater. I love to see when people get mentored and equipped and then they go and they're starting their ministry or doing their, applying the things to what they're doing already and just growing in the seer anointing or growing in healing ministry. So, I'm super excited. Right now, we're going to be starting the healing school this next week. And so if you don't know anything about that, I, uh, I encourage you to go to my website. That's the next mentorship coming up. Now, I do realize that maybe you're watching this later. <laughs> Sometimes people revisit like prophetic words and it might be a year later. So if you're revisiting this maybe later from today, um, you know, just check out my website to see when the latest mentorship is because I'll be doing different seer mentorships this year as well. But the, the one that's coming up is the healing school and I'm super excited about that. So you can go there and check out all information about that. Also, really quick, I do have um, a television show with Sid Roth. If you're interested to grow as a seer or in the gifts of the supernatural called Eagles Arise. And you can actually now go on YouTube and watch the first season of all of Eagles Arise. Hopefully season two will be coming out um, later soon. Soon. I don't I don't have an exact date for that. So I'm saying soon. <laughs> but you can download the app um, for Sid Roth's It's Supernatural. It's every Wednesday. So you can watch it there. You can also get the, you can look on Sid's website to see what time of day it is. I believe it's six, um, our time, Central Standard Time or seven Eastern Standard Time in the morning and in the evening. So just wanted to share all that with you. All the links are there. So, hey guys, it's almost 2023. How are you feeling about that? <laughs> Thanks for all of you who are on here live with me. I love to see all your familiar names. I know lots of you popping in here. Just make sure you give me a hello, shout out from whatever nation you're joining in from. Um, I love to connect with you all and see all you. And I of often, as silly as it does, I sa sounds, I go ahead and pray over the names that I see um, after the lives just because, you know, I like to pray for you all. So, um, I, before I start off, I, I want to say this, okay? It's really important with every prophetic word, everything that's shared, any, any prophecy you read, any prophecy that you hear, you know, the, the word says in 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 13, 9, it says that, you know, we know in part, we prophesy in part. So, for one, it's really important that you take what I'm going to share with you or what you other prophetic words you might read or get and you really test it um, with the word of God. You, you, you go into this thing. This is my Bible. You, you, you use your Bible, test it with the word of God and say, does this word really match the nature of Christ that I read about in the Bible? 
Secondly, take it before the Lord yourself. You know, you need to hear the voice of God for yourself. Um, so take it before the Lord and say, you know, is this, is there validity to this word, Father? And, you know, with any prophetic word, sometimes parts of it, when it says that we prophesy, we know in part, part of it might um, be relevant to you and part of it may not, depending what season you're on. You know, it's really interesting because often there's a prophetic word released and the Lord will like bring it up later and it's more relevant to the season I'm in then. The Lord will use it in his right timing too. So I just want to say all that. Because there's a lot of words out there, okay? And I, it's really important that you hear the voice of God for, for yourself. Um, so, you know, I prophesy, I know in part, I'm going to share with you what the Lord shared with me. Before I share that, I do want to say this. I am a seer. Um, uh, seer is spelled S-E-E-R, in case you're wondering, you're like, what is that? Um, cause I realize there's people that you might be watching this for the first time and have no grid for who I am. You may have never seen me on Sid Roth. You may never have read one of my books that are on the seer. Um, the seer's path is my first book I wrote on that. And I've, I've written six books now. Um, so you may not know me. And so I want to give a little, a little groundwork for that. Um, a seer is a prophet you, primarily that hears the voice of God or gets revelation from God through the gift of sight. And so the Lord will primarily use my seeing gift. So he'll speak to me through giving me images um, or showing me prophetically what's to come through a vision, whether my eyes be physically closed and I see it or my eyes are wide open and I have what's called like an open vision where my eyes are open. Like I'm looking at the camera, looking towards the, the screen right now, my eyes are wide open and I'll see something, you know, maybe I see a, an angel walk into the back of the room of a church I'm ministering at, um, carrying a body part and that's what the Lord wants to release healing for. Um, and then I'll move from that point because he gives me instruction, right? The Lord's showing me what to do. So. I just want to lay that groundwork down. Seer is mentioned in the Bible. Um, Samuel was a seer. Uh, Daniel was a seer. You can look at the book of Revelation. Out of This is out of John's encounter. The whole book of Revelation is from a seeing encounter. So those of, I just say that because of sometimes people relate seeing only to the Old Testament, because we see the word seer in the Old Testament, but people were having seer encounters in the New Testament also. So um, go to the Word. Face everything in the Word of God, okay? Now, I want to um, I want to share with you this word that I feel about 2023, and um, I am excited for 2023, and you know, it's going to be different. So I'm going to just pray really quick. Lord, I just pray that whatever you want to share through this, you would. God, I pray that you would touch um, lives, touch hearts who are listening to this now. And I thank you, God, that you are um, always guiding us and leading us and you're always um, present in our life, Lord. Open our spiritual eyes, God to see you more clearly and see what your hand is doing more clearly for this next year in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, all right. So I will say the Lord spoke me or showed me this, this what's coming for 2023 back like right before Rosh Hashanah. Um, and it's interesting because right about then every year, the Lord does speak to me what's coming. So um, right before, it was it was just the day before, according to the Jewish calendar, their new year began. So the day before that, I was taken um, into a vision. And there was a lot that I saw in the vision. I'm going to unpack it in, in portions. So um, in this vision, I found myself inside um, a, a greenhouse 
And as I looked around, the greenhouse was really thriving. There was plants everywhere and, and they were lush and they were growing like in all kinds of sizes. And there was, I found it interesting that there was even bees inside the greenhouse buzzing and cross pollinating, um, which I do believe that has to do a little bit prophetically with what God's going to do with us connecting and, and, um, yeah, more about that later. Okay, we'll, we'll touch on that later. Okay, so I looked around. I saw these plants. I saw bees everywhere. And I was in this greenhouse. Okay, and the Lord spoke then and he said, in a season, the season that is dry, you will thrive if you hear and obey my voice. And um, I'll pause here before I go on. I do believe though that is a clear word of the Lord. Um, a, there's a there's a there's a there's a warning. There's going to be a dry season, but there's also a promise from Him. Um, I do believe the Lord was showing me there is a dryness coming upon us. But the thri- what I don't want you to focus or fixate on that because you can. The enemy can take that then and put fear in you. And I don't want to release fear through this, this live video. I want to tell you the imagery. I want what you stick with in your mind is the imagery of the greenhouse. That, that that's what you remember. That inside within that greenhouse, everything was alive and actually thriving. The plants were doing so well. And I believe that it's a promise of God that those of us who will remain in Him and draw near to Him and listen to His voice and quickly obey His voice, we're going to actually thrive. And I'm reminded of um, it being almost like a Joseph season that, you know, Joseph, it says, I think it's in Genesis 39, 3, I want to say it says that the Lord was with Joseph and caused all he did to prosper. So whether Joseph was, we know Joseph from the Bible, whether he was in prison, with whether he was a slave or he was um, the king, like Pharaoh, like Pharaoh's right hand, you know, he, he had favor. And I think in the same way, those of us who will draw near to God will actually um, thrive. And out externally, things might look rough or dry, but we're going to actually thrive. This is, this is actually a really meant, like encouraging word. It's really meant to encourage you. Okay, so then moving on, I want to share with you what happened in, okay, so within the greenhouse, um, then I could feel the Lord's, I could actually feel the Lord's presence so strong and the sunshine was uh, on my face. There was like beams, like hit, like rays, beams of sunlight hitting my face and I could feel this peace. There was just like this peace in my spirit. And then I walked over to, there was a, like a large, um, like a sink, like a basin sink kind of thing that you would find in maybe a greenhouse or, you know, in a garden kind of thing. And, and I washed, so I went to the sink, I washed all the dirt that was on my hands off. And the Lord said to me then, washing away, listen, hear this, washing away your disappointments from last year's delay is a key for stepping forward now into 2023. I believe there's many of us, and I include myself in this, that if we looked back over 2022, we could, we could see that there could be some disappointments that's there of, I didn't make, perhaps you're feeling, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think I would still be here. I think I would think it would look different. I would, you know, I'm still contending for something that hasn't come to be, or there has been, it feels like major delay 
I, I would say if I look back over 2022, I'd say I feel there's many of us that felt delay. Um, but do you feel that way? I just see a lot of people right now in the comments here like, yes, Anna, that was totally my experience. So for one thing, you're not alone. You're, you're not alone. You can see it. Lots of people are sharing this. They feel that way. I know I felt that way. Uh, parts of parts of me felt that way. You know, 2022 for me was a lot of contending and standing in faith and standing for something and believing in something. Um, did I think I would be in a different place? I thought our family would have moved by now to where God's calling us to build and, and move to. And we're not there yet. Um, we will be moving, praise God, <laughs> in in the spring. But that's another story. But here's the thing. For us to move forward for 2023, the, the thing is I saw that it was so important to wash our hands of this disappointment so that we don't carry that forward as we step forward into 2023, not carrying the disappointment of the delay and just like, let's just between you and the Lord right now, if you know this is you, let's pause. I'm going to pause here because I feel I feel the Holy Spirit so strong on this. Pause here and just take some time. And let's just pray together, okay? Lord, we just come before you with the disappoint some disappointments. Yep, that I carry that I've carried 2022 and um For some of us, it's been a, a delay um, and just frustration, disappointment with that. I, I bring that before you now, God, and I just want to lay that at your feet. And Lord, I just pray that you would wash me over that now. Just wash me head to toe clean of that so that I can, I can move forward. We can move forward in hope. Lord, I pray now, let me pray for you, Lord, I pray for hope and expectation to be released now over everyone watching this, that you have good things in store, that it will be a year of thriving in the midst of craziness and dryness that might be out there, but we will actually, or adversity, but we will actually thrive in Jesus name. I pray for hope deferred to be broken off of someone watching this now. And Lord, I just pray that it, just an impartation be released upon all of us for faith, renewed and refreshed faith and hope for the good plans that you have in store for us in Jesus name. Amen. Mm. I, I mean, I just heard like chains breaking in the spirit of just this dis disappointment just being broken off. Come on, Jesus. <laughs> so awesome. Okay, so I should move on. Okay, then I, in the vision, it's it's hard to sometimes move on when you, you just feel the fire. I just feel it all over. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> okay, but I should move on. So in the vision then I went to, there was specific hose on, on the wall and I was, I grabbed the hose and it had a head, like a nozzle on it. And I was careful when I was spraying the plants to just spray only the roots of the plant. And then I heard when I was spraying the roots in the vision, then I heard this from the Lord, keep the roots wet, attend to saturate the roots. Um, so I believe there's a clear word here of the Lord, a, like I said, a promise um, that, that as we remain in him, um, and that's part, that's the saturation, we're abiding in Christ, and it, it almost a encouragement, make sure you're staying saturated in Christ. How, so there's, not only will you thrive, but it's how you thrive. To thrive, here's the equation, to, th by, to thrive, we need to stay in Him, saturate in Him. Because here's the thing, when chaos comes or warfare comes or if there's any form of adversity, the way we stay grounded is by being grounded in Him, being grounded in the Word of God, being grounded in staying 
close to him to and also guarding our time with him so that we're really staying saturated just saturated in in his presence and sometimes that also means turning off the voice the external voices that would pull away from you being saturated in him so maybe not maybe it's not watching the news right now or in 2023 not not watching the news as much staying off the your phone not watching all the social media stuff but really guarding that you're really listening to the voice of God um i was talking to someone just today um i was ministering to someone and and the question that i asked them is when did you i like i felt the holy spirit tell me to ask them this is is when did you start listening more to the voice of the enemy than listening to the voice of God? And that actually like was like a aha a moment of, oh, yeah, I have been kind of listening more to the enemy right now. So um, just please, this is a turnabout word. Just, just turn about and, and start making sure you're really saturating yourself in the Lord so that His voice is the loudest voice you're hearing right now. Okay. And don't delay. Don't delay in pursuing God. Uh, Matthew 25 talks about the 10 virgins, you know, um, that it, there's an, I feel this nudge from the Holy Spirit right now of make sure you get oil. Make sure you're getting um, filled with God, filled with the Holy Spirit so that you're not dry going into a dry season, right? Okay, and for however long you've been walking with the Lord, um, we all need like fresh, like hunger, fresh hunger for, for Him. Amen. All right, so there, then as I was saying, there was in the vision, there was sunlight was beaming down on my face in this greenhouse. I mean, I could, I could feel, I could feel the tangible uh, love of God and it was so powerful and he was just washing over me. For many of us going into 2023 will look like getting re-in-touch with the tangible love of God. Because if you were really honest, I don't know how long you've been walking with the Lord, but I know somewhere, someone on this, you're hearing this now, maybe you're hearing it later after it's been recorded, but for whatever reason, God has put you here to my channel right now to hear this. But there's been a place in your heart, in your life that has felt like, I feel, I actually feel kind of dry. It's been a while. Perhaps it's because you've been contending for so long that you need that refresh, like just the love, just the radical love of God poured over you. And in, and, and that's what you're going to have that. You're going to have these moments in 2023 of just like, boom, these love encounters. And in that moment, I was, there was such a, when the light would beam on me and I could feel his presence and his love, there was such like a stillness and fullness and peace. And, um, oh, I feel the Holy Spirit right now. I don't know about you. But I know, I know someone you're watching this. And if you're really honest, you need that stillness, fullness, and peace restored in your life. Am I talking to you? Is that you? Is that anybody on here? Mm. Sometimes when I'm sharing a word of the Lord, the Lord will just impress upon me. Um, I'll just have a quick vision flash through um, 
the mind or my eyes of, of the people's faces I'm talking to. And I mean, I just literally had this, this vision of, of just that this word meant a lot to many of you. I just saw some faces just do, 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 flash. So look at, I want to pray. We'll pause here and pray because this is a, the Holy Spirit's highlighting you right now. God, I pray that you would release this, this ability to be still. So I speak peace to the storm that you're walking through right now. And I pray for the stillness and peace and fullness of Christ to just be restored back in your life right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, so I just want to keep ministering. It's hard to like get this whole vision out. But in, okay, so I, I will wrap it up here in the vision that I went and I cleared some um, like the dead heads of the plants, you know, where I, I cut them, I clipped them, and I kind of really enjoyed the process of that. And I think that tw in 2023, many will experience the process of clipping off or coming out of some old mindsets that have been there that have actually hindered growth for moving forward. And then in the vision, I looked up and I saw these um, eagles that were soaring ab above the glass of the greenhouse and they stretched their, I saw them stretch their wings out like this and then they were headed right towards a storm that was coming. And see, eagles are interesting birds. I have studied eagles because me, of course, being a seer, um, I relate to the eagle with, e like eagle's eyes, they have really honed in the gift of sight where they can see um, really far in advance, but also eagles, the interesting thing about them is they don't shy away from storms. Like most birds, there's a storm coming, maybe they'll go hide or go back to their nest. Eagles actually soar um, into the storm because they catch the wind and then they are, they rise above it. So <laughs> I'm excited because I believe that the, 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 whatever is coming is actually going to propel many of us and lift us higher through this. I believe 2023 as well, the seers, because I saw these eagles, I'm excited because I believe seers that walk with the gift of discernment are really going to step out and start sharing the words of the Lord of what they're seeing to help us discern the times and seasons, um, that we're in. So then I saw the, the last portion of this, and I promise I'm wrapping it up. Then I saw um, what looked like this group of riders um, coming down a hill, and they were riding together. Not riding, but riding, like riding horseback. They were riding together, and um, but what was interesting is they were wearing different clothes than um, the clothing you and I wear in this genre, they, they were wearing clothing that actually reminded me of what I've read in history books about the circuit riders. Um, and, and they looked a lot like old circuit riders. If you have never researched the circuit riders, um, I want to give you like, I, I'm not a history major by any means, but so from what I've researched, I know that they would, uh, circuit riders were, would go out and preach the gospel. They didn't actually have a building. So they would go place to place to place on their circuit and they would go and, and preach the gospel like that. And they were used in that time, that era to really propel the gospel forward. Um, so in this vision though, the circuit riders were actually moving, um, like in history, I believe the circuit riders more were individual that would go out, but in this vision, they, they were together. There was a coming together of the message of the Lord, and there was such an intensity. Um, what the Lord did in the vision is I could see their eyesight, like from the, like the Lord showed me the circuit riders, and then sometimes he does this where he shows me from their perspective what they're seeing. And I could see the intensity and purpose um, that they were carrying in them as they looked forward with intensity. Um, so I believe right now we're in a time where we're going to see these fiery ones that are really released to bring the gospel. Um, there's a boldness in them 
and a call to repentance. But I think the key the Lord was showing me is that there was a working together. Um, so here's the thing. The Lord is moving us from an individual ministry mindset into the power right now of togetherness of the different gift mixes now coming together and flowing together. Praise God. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know about you, but that makes me so excited. And I'm like, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. So, and that was the end of the vision for me. I, I smiled and then I went, I went back to just tending this garden um, in, within the greenhouse. So, that's the word that I heard for 2023. In summary, um, I believe that we're going to thrive. The, the, the summary is, I yes, I do think there's a dry season coming, but I just want to encourage you that you will actually thrive. Make sure you don't bring your disappointment of 2022 into this new year. Let's lay it down at the feet of Christ. I bless you if you are um, walking in the gift of discernment or you're wanting to step out in the gift of discernment and the gift of seeing, I bless you to rise higher and actually hear the clear prophetic word of the Lord in this season. And I really want to pray and I just speak a blessing over you actually to rise higher. There's a call to rise higher in 2023 beyond what you see around you the circumstances around you to lift your gaze to cast your eyes higher and see from heaven's perspective and call that into being amen and um also i just bless you those of you who are like the circuit riders are in the front lines doing ministry i bless you with just a boldness oh a fiery boldness and um i thank god that he's bringing us bringing all the different gift mixes in this season together it's going to be interesting there's a different alignment i thought i was done and then holy spirit said nope you got to add this <laughs> so there's a there's perhaps you were in a season before with when you were aligned with a certain group and that's where you found yourself and you know what you're going to look back in 2023 and you're going to see that god did something different where he shifted some alignments in your life and you it, it, it's not that those relationships are bad it's just that for what god wants to do he's going to need you to shift and focus a little bit more on these relationships and align yourself rightly. And it, it it's going to look different. It might be people that carry a different gift mix um, for, than you do. I remember that I was in a season of my life where, you know, as a seer, I was uh, pretty much the people surrounding me or that I was mostly directly working with would be other um, prophets. And I was like, this, that's the camp that I found myself in a lot with prophets. And the Lord was like, Hey, I want you to align yourself with this person who was a predominant, their gift is teaching the gift of a teacher. And by aligning myself with them, it's like by rubbing elbows with them, I, it's like the gift of teaching was imparted on me. And I didn't even realize it at the time, but I, I grew as a teacher by just in my direct connection or alignment with that individual and just learn from them. So I, I do believe as God's bring the different gift mixes together in 2023, your alignments might look different because perhaps you're needing to align your, align yourself and be careful who you align yourself. Make sure you're the Holy, I make sure Holy Spirit shows you who that person is, but it might be someone carrying a different gift mix than than you are amen let me pray for you all thanks for hanging out with me today i'm excited for the new year let me pray for you father i just thank you for these beautiful people god oh i thank you for your heart for them i thank you that your miracles are flowing now through their lives 
Some of you need a miracle and God's doing his, he's doing it right now. By his stripes, you're healed. You're set free. Even a healing in an old mindset is being uh, healed right now, broken off and healed. Thank you, Jesus. You're setting someone free right now from um, some deep trauma. They're receiving healing to that place in their brain right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. I pray for healing for someone on here who you um, are carrying hurt from a relationship that kind of went wrong and the Lord just wants to wash over you right now with his love. May you feel the tangible love of God right now over you. You've already walked in forgiveness towards that individual. I don't need to ask you, did you forgive that person? You've already done that, but the hurt, there's a little bit of hurt. Part of the disappointment that you find yourself for 2022, when I mentioned that, was kind of what went on there in, in your heart. And you, the, you know, you just didn't think it would look like that as what happened. And the, the, Lord, want, the Lord is gonna restore that it might not be that individual, but what that individual represented in your life, whether it be a spiritual mom or a spiritual father or a best friend, the Lord is going to restore that. But in this moment, he wants you to know that his, his love is deep and penetrates deeply into that place right now. I just see his love just deeply penetrating that place of your heart and refilling the, the, the places that feel wounded from what you walked through right now. So thank you, Jesus. Just release your, thank you for your love just being released right now. Thank you, God. Ramashakate. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I pray that we would be walking in greater discernment. Yeah, really walking greater discernment. I think I hear again the Lord saying such a key is that you would keep your eyes fixed on him for 2023 and rise above. So I pray that and I speak that over you. Rise above 2023, rise above and you will thrive and you will soar. Amen. Well, it's been a joy to be on here with you today. Hey, happy new year, almost happy new year. And oh, 2023. It's going to be good. I And hey, I look forward to seeing those of you who have signed up for the healing school. I look forward to seeing some of you next week. See you then.